I think I started knowing I was different uh, when I was in school and everyone else was kind of like, oh, I've seen this hot girl and I didn't really feel that way. Being asexual means that you're not sexually attracted to another person, male or female. I'm Josh Scott, I'm 18 and I'm from Brighton. My Fixes project is to tell people about asexuality and to tell young people it's up to them if and when they have a sexual relationship. Being different made me feel depressed, um, suicidal at times because I just felt messed up. Do you think the idea of asexuality is more accepted these days? Well, I do think there's less pressure to put people in boxes, and so there's a wider spectrum of sexual orientations that, that's better understood than perhaps it used to be. But I do also still think there's a lot of prejudice and discrimination that people face when their sexual identity is in a, in a minority group and kind of outside of what other people consider to be the norm. <laughs> my personal experience has definitely opened my eyes. The society we live in is becoming a hypersexualized society. It worries me um, that people are forced to have sex because I feel that everyone should be allowed to explore their identity before they go that far, or they should be able to say when they're ready. What are the modern pressures that people face to have sex early? Well, I think the internet is a big factor. Um, it means that people can have access to things like pornography. Also social media, so sites such as Facebook, but also instant messaging um, sites where you can meet people more easily. It's also really important that we dispel this myth that all young people are having sex, because they're not. But I think the whole issue of peer pressure is important, and young people think, if all my friends are doing it, I should be doing it as well. When I was younger, I had a six-month fraud, because I was just the way I was brought up. But I think people just skip it now, and then they wonder why they get dumped the next week. Media. Main one. Media advertisement. Yeah. Pop stars and everything. And if everyone else is doing it, then if you're not, you probably feel that the odd one out. We're hoping to create a zine which we're going to distribute to colleges, schools, and advice centres, as well as to the general public. The message is what is asexuality, how it feels to be asexual, and uh, the experiences that come with it. Relationships aren't just about sex. I probably will find someone, I might not. But one, I'm not bothered about finding anyone. And two, if I do, I'm not going to be forced into having sex just to keep it alive. Well, there's nothing wrong with society being interested in sex. It's just the amount of it, like, it's overwhelming. I think it's gone too far. I feel that young people are now sort of obliged or forced to have sex, like they feel that they have to do it.